There is a lot to thank Japan for. Beautiful art, amazing technological advances, Sailor Moon. But were you aware of any of these innovations? I could not keep it together. I'm having a moment, it's too hysterical. <laughs> Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today, we're counting down our picks for the top 5 coolest things that started in Japan. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're looking at unique items and concepts from the land of the rising sun. Some of these things may not have been explicitly invented in Japan, but certainly were popularized there. Others are still so cutting-edge that little information is available, but serve as proof of Japan's pioneering creative spirit. Number 5. Parking Lots for Bikes In Japan, bicycles are an extremely common form of transportation. With an incredibly efficient and well-connected train and bus system linking almost every community, be it town, city, or quaint village, public transportation can likely get you there. However, for those staying closer to home, there is nothing more convenient than the old bicycle. With so many people riding bikes every day, the average bike bar setup just can't handle the volume. Therefore, bikes have their own lots, even their own underground garages. Some can hold hundreds of bikes, others are true technological wonders. And with the latter, you won't have to remember where you parked. I parked my bike and when I came back, it was gone. Number 4. Super or Full Body Umbrellas No one likes to get caught in the rain, or worse, a downpour. When it's coming down like cats and dogs, the standard umbrella simply does not cut it. If you're lucky, you'll manage to keep your hair dry. Fortunately in Japan, there's hope. The super umbrella. It may look a little odd, but let's forget about appearances and think practically for once. This is a great idea. Although other variations have been spotted around the country, this bubble girl is the standout model. Gone are the days of dreading a sideways rain. No word yet, however, on where you can get one for yourself, or how they would fare in the wind. Number 3. Crazy-themed restaurants and cafes Ever wanted to dine with penguins? How about robots? Theme restaurants and cafes of all sorts abound in Japan. Although mostly found in the major metropolitan cities, you can usually find a creative place to dine even in the smaller cities. From the maid cafes of Tokyo with waitresses in French-made uniforms, to horrifying Alcatraz ER restaurants where nurses serve food and beverages in severed heads and syringes, to the more light-hearted theme restaurants, featuring animals and toilets. It's not hard to find a unique and memorable eating experience to suit all manner of tastes. What have you got to lose, except for, you know, your appetite? Number 2. Vending Machines for Everything In the West, we're used to vending machines providing cold drinks or small packages of food. In Japan, the range is a little more extensive. In the summer, you can order a cold bottle of green tea, large beer, small sake, or a wild assortment of Pepsi varieties. Baobab flavored Pepsi, anyone? Not to mention their many Kit Kats, although you'll have to hit up a Combini for those. In the winter, however, the same machines will provide cans of hot coffee, cocoa, tea, even piping hot corn chowder and boiled eggs. There are also so many non food machines that can provide clean shirts, porn, and soiled underwear. Hey, everyone has their kinks. They're too crinkly. You tell a funny. Number 1. Capsule Hotels. How many times have you been traveling on a budget and thought, I just need a place to sleep? Well, many people in Japan apparently have the same thought, so they went ahead and resolved the problem with the capsule hotel. Your experience will go something like this. After checking in, you're assigned a key to your pod. In addition to your futon and a light, you'll be given bathroom slippers, a robe, access to the bathhouse, AC control, and a shelf. All for anywhere between $17 and $50 American. Not bad, huh? When it's time for bed, you pull the shade down and tuck in. While they may vary in size, some give you room to stand, others do not, and facilities, they all provide a unique experience. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.